you don't have to do print selection like we did with the ponies. I mean, obviously, the repeat of the pattern is frequent enough that it'll blend nicely no matter where you place it. So that's why we don't do that with every print, which is the main reason I wanted to show you in the case of this type of print, that you can cut it on the fold. Totally fine. Save yourself some time and energy. However, once you cut it and verify that you like the print match, which I do, then you're gonna do right sides together at this point because we're getting ready to sew it. So place it correctly, right sides together, making sure all of your pattern lines match up. And then just do the standard pinning on the curve. And we'll get these ready to sew. And the flip side of this one is my vine print here, which also does not require pattern selection. You can rotate your print perpendicular if you would like. So normally, your grain line runs parallel to the selvage edge. We know that. But let's say you wanted your print to go perpendicular to that. Then you would have to make it so that it's perpendicular to that. mark a 90 degree perpendicular line with, with like a pencil or something and then that will serve as your new grain line to measure here. But we're not going to do that. I like this one fine. I just wanted to let you know how to do that if you needed to. If you really aren't sure, all you can do is just cut it and see how it goes. It's not the cheapest thing, it's not the most expensive thing. And I have enough extra here that if I mess up, I can cut it again. And I can finger press this down to the table for additional stability, especially when it gets to be a pretty small pattern piece that you cut. It's fine to lift this fabric, but I'd still finger press the pattern down and watch your fingers when you're cutting. Here we go. I like how the pink runs into the other pink here on this side of the face mask. So yeah. Great. Oh, but see, I messed up. I cut the wrong size pattern piece. So I'm going to get the correct size, line it up with the top. I guess that's good. It happened. It's a blessing in disguise. It is the same exact piece, the standard to the petite. They wanted, the client wanted this pattern in a petite. So I'm just gonna match the top line. The only difference is this is an inch shorter at the chin. So I'm just gonna repin it into place. I'm gonna take out the bottom pin that I put in there earlier for sewing. And then I'm simply going to cut off the excess. So if you make the same mistake, that's how you fix it. Lovely. It's ready to go. Now I'm going to check and make sure my back fits my front. And it sure does. 